Can you feel the tension in the air? Something is shifting. Samsung isn't just preparing to release a new phone. We are at a turning point that will rewrite the rules of the foldable world. The latest signals from Anthony scream that this change is bigger than anything we've seen in years. This isn't just an update. This is the moment Samsung dares to leave safe waters for a real engineering leap. 2026 is about to be the year. Flexibility transforms into Samsung's deadliest weapon. The leaked 2026 roadmap reads less like a product list and more like a battle plan. At the summit sits the Galaxy Z Trifold, the pinnacle of engineering. But the real surprise lies just beneath. The Galaxy Z Fold 8 isn't arriving alone. A completely new variant, dubbed the Passport, wider and more compact is coming. Samsung is trashing the one-size-fits-all logic. They are doing exactly what they did with the S-Series. More sizes, more styles, and a wider ecosystem. Yes, they stunned the market with the Fold 7 a few months ago, but we all knew the missing piece, battery and charging speed. According to Exaco Chamber sources, Samsung is rebuilding the Fold 8's internal architecture with millimeter precision. The goal? Fitting a 5,000 mAh powerhouse into that chassis without adding bulk. And the charging tech, stuck at 25 watts for years, is finally breaking its chains to hit 45 watts. If they fit a 5600 mAh battery into a 3.9 mm thin trifold, what they'll do with the Fold 8 isn't a miracle, it's just Samsung engineering showing off. Why now? Because the enemy is at the gates. There is only one reason for Samsung's sudden aggression. Apple. Footsteps from Cupertino are getting louder, and Samsung wants to cement 60% of the market before the first foldable iPhone launches. According to The Bell, the target is 6.7 million sales. The Galaxy Z Flip 8, in particular, is the last bastion before Apple arrives. By making the Flip 8 10% thinner and lighter, Samsung aims to leave no room for its rival. If Samsung doesn't deliver these major upgrades, they risk losing not just market share, but the title of King of Foldables. The ambitious 36 million sales target for the S26 series may be the backbone of Samsung's strategy. But in reality, the foldable lineup carries the soul of the brand into the future. 2026 won't be an ordinary year. It will be the moment Samsung either cements its legacy or is forced to share the throne in the premium smartphone war. The stakes have never been higher. So the real question is this. Are the rumored Passport model and a true 5000 mAh enough to slow down Apple's momentum? Or is Apple already three moves ahead in this high-stakes game of technological chess? You're the strategist here, drop your analysis in the comments.